<laughs> you just said yes, <laughs> Come on. You know, <laughs> 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 didn't expect it. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, I'm Toy. Um, I'm here in full support of the EAT project simply because what it is, essentially, is an African Rites of Passage program. And we're not using those terms, but essentially that's what it is. And, and that is something that every single child needs to go through, but specifically African children. And when I say African, I mean in a wider context. Um, from the diaspora direct from the continent, but it's the whole idea of actually understanding who we are, understanding our relationship as, as, as young people to our community, to our family, learning to love ourselves, but you know, really having that connection to our roots, our culture, even things like economics and economic development. And one of the things I hear when people talk about the success of the E project is that they, they their aspirations raise. Because one of the things that happens when you're you know, when you're, when you're, when you're in, a, in an environment where you are not normalized, where you are not seen as the norm, you kind of get limited in what you are supposed to achieve. So sports, entertainment, you get stereotyped with criminality. But when you go to a nation where you are the norm, when you see yourself as doctors, as scientists, biologists, prime minister, kings, and you, you have this whole range of professions and aspirations to choose from. You don't just, then just think about being a rap star or a footballer. So what EAT does is um, it's so valuable, and I'm here to lend my support because ultimately I'm selfish. And I want this to be such a success that it replicates itself across the whole country. That's the reason why I have to be here to support it, and, and I want to thank everyone involved because it's a fantastic project. Thank you. Emmanuel, as our community, please, just a few words. Um. My name is Emmanuel Amebu. I work for Centre Enterprise, which is a project down the road on Kingsman High Street. And Gozu just bumped into me this afternoon and told me about it. But we were looking for you for ages. I, I knew I, I had to be here. I have no choice. It's, it's a wonderful program. And I think the important thing is uh, the young people who go on set trips to be advised to try and develop some positive links, whether to say, quote unquote, adopt a brother or a friend or, and keep correspondence going. Uh, don't just take it as a, as a visit and ensure that you start learning about one another. Is, uh, what really brings us together is the color of our skin. And we really need to ensure that the Caribbean and Africans, the Caribbeans and Africans come together. That is the only way the black person can develop. It, it is doing uh, a very good job, which needs the support of all of us. I think uh, Center Price sponsored one person last at the last trip to the Gambia. And once again, we would like to sponsor uh, one person again on this trip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and when the young people, go, they should demand their share of the land. And by demanding the share of the land, I know, I mean, I can research this, because um, I was at a meeting by, organized by one of these groups, and I was told that there is one of these chiefs who uh, own a lot of lands mm. and is prepared to give it to the Africans from the diaspora to come and do things there. Say no more. I don't understand how all the raw materials that are used. You, you take mobile phones, for instance, the copper and everything comes from either the Zari, Ghana, bauxite, cocoa. I'm going to hand over to our chief exec, but before that, I want to say that Mr. Cole, the head teacher, who's been very supportive, has agreed, I think, to join us this year in order to perhaps. Um, forge links with a school 
in, in Ghana to further, you know, and I just think that's wonderful. And I hope that you are able to achieve that and travel with us. It's all about that. It's also all about development. So one, uh, definitely, uh, you know, that development is very important. And um, I think some of the comments that I've heard here today, and it's good to see you, Councillor, in terms of coming at capacity and some of the things you've just said as well, have made me realise that, you know, we've got to get those things together. And that works a passive term in some as well today, as well as all the other comments. So, Okay, well we are here to raise funds and to raise energy and uh, as African people we don't do anything without acknowledging the creator, we just don't do anything and we don't do anything without recognising that it's on the shoulders of other people that we stand and so at this point I just want to uh, have a moment to invite those spirits that have our well-being as their highest intention and the creator and all that is good and great and the spirit of Africa to be with us this evening as we commune, socialize and empower ourselves. I'm giving thanks for the fact that we're here. I'm giving thanks so that the evening goes off just as it is intended to be. I give thanks for everyone being here. Thank you. of heaven and earth, of all things, we come before you as your children. We've been on a long journey, many of us do not know our original tongue or our original names, but somehow the spirit and the essence of who we are has not been lost. We give thanks for all that you have done and all that you are doing, even as we don't know. We give thanks as we move forward that we should become enriched and become clearer and more positive whenever we hear the word Africa, that it should wake something up in us and we should connect with our spiritual essence, whether we come from this country in Africa or that country in Africa, whether we come from the Caribbean or whether our parents gave birth to us here, that as long as we are descendants of Africa, that we should feel proud and defend and be strong in our identity, that we will enrich and uplift all of our children, all of our elders and all of us, and we stay connected to those in Africa. I would also take this moment to ask that you have a special, a special thought and a presence and embrace of Toyin Agbetu, who is with us, an African who has stood up on behalf of the African family and as a result is vulnerable to and at high risk of forces that would not necessarily have our well-being as their highest order. I pray that you take him and his family and ensure that everything that takes place in terms of what he has done and what he stands for is in keeping with your will. Please watch over each and every one of us and ensure that your will is done and that we remain on purpose as we commune, as we remember, and as we are purposeful. Amen. Amen. When we proceed, thank you to the main room. And Absolutely. There's lots of food and drink. And is everybody here? Yes! Yeah. Okay. Black Heroes Posse is, I'm sure most, some of you are here in the house tonight, yeah? Tonight I'm going to bring back some memories of Black Heroes a little bit, but some of the songs I'll be doing, which I've not done, which I've not done in Black Heroes, I'd like you to sing along, clap your hands, stamp your feet, and let's get a party going in the Sam Cooke vein. Let's go. Mr. DJ. Ladies and gentlemen in the house tonight, clap your hands, no, yeah. Look here. Look here. We're having a party, yeah. 
dancing to the 